So I'm here in Atlanta, Georgia, kicking it at a friend of mine's condo. Big, big thanks to Jason and Marie Sando for letting me stay here. Um, but I'm really missing them, and I wish they they were here and we were having a big sand abrasion. I just got done with a nice 10 mile run. Really kicked my butt because we had a crazy rocking time last night. Party with the uh, other bands, played at Smith's Old Bar, and we partied with this country band till the wee hours of the morning. They had a uh, pretty sweet uh, bus, and we partied on it. So now I'm enjoying my nice banana and peanut butter and fig bar lunch here <laughs> with some uh, plenty of water to stay hydrated. And I thought I'd play a song. Uh, it's really an old song of mine. It's one I wrote when I was in high school. And um, I remember I had just learned um, Jim Croce's Time in a Bottle, which goes, If I could stop time in a bottle, the first thing that I'd like to do is spend You know, I was young, and I think everybody, I think young songwriters kind of get stuck in uh, what they call the Paul McCartney syndrome of just wanting to write love songs all the time. So this is a song of mine. It's called Love is a Seed. Probably about 12 years old now. I never really thought it was a dirty song, but I played it one time at this place in, uh, at Broussard's in Cape Girardeau, and the bartender, Davey, as soon as I finished, he yelled at me, that, that's a dirty song. So, uh... I guess author's intent doesn't really matter that much, but I didn't mean for it to be a dirty song. Get your get your head out of the gutter, Davy. So this is Love's a Seed. Because of this, you will cry. 